Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we're going to have some fun playing Magic. And the fun thing that we're trying to do today is we're playing an Amplifier deck. Uh, so Amplifier, no crazy name right now. Actually, uh, if you guys have better names for me, put them down in the comments below. Uh, I love doing that. I'm sure I come up with something a little bit better by the time I actually post this, but right now it's just Amplifier deck. Uh, but Amplifier is a 4 converted mana cost elemental creature, 1-1. One, one. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature card. Until your next turn, Amplifier's base power becomes twice that card's power, and its base toughness becomes twice that card's toughness. Put the revealed cards on the bottom of your library in random order. So uh, we're playing a bunch of just super, super fun stuff, and we're playing Gates with this deck. Uh, and it's been such a fun deck. So the, the cool thing, first off, so the, the main thing we were trying to hit is if we can just hit a Galta, then this becomes a 24-24, and we can thud in, or we can swing in, hopefully. Uh, we do have a couple of crash loops to give this trample until end of turn, so we can be swinging in with a 24-24 creature and just win the game. Uh, and... Which is fun. Like, like that's exactly the kind of fun, janky stuff I just love to do. Uh, so the rest of this deck is trying to make that happen. Uh, trying to kind of create some really fun opportunities for us to just do some cool stuff with this. Um, so we are playing a gate deck with this. Because I think that gates just are super, super powerful. And I think that one of the good cards to be playing that work well with, with uh, Amplifier is Gate Colossus. And... Um, Remind me down in the comments below. I actually wasn't positive, and I, I've been trying to test it out. It's never made it happen, but I don't know if Gatebreaker Ram actually works with Amplifier. I believe that Star, uh, things that, like any abilities that just say its power is this, um, it does work as though its power was that, because that works even in the library, even if it's not anywhere. Uh, but I'm not sure with Gatebreaker Ram where it gets plus one plus one for each gate you control, if that's a... a consistent thing that's in the library as well i i've been ruled on that in an fnm before but again i don't know how my fnm plays it if it's the right way or anything and so anyway um it's still just a good deck with this um and this is my thoughts i'm, I'm kind of coming out with a little bit of a theory here um if you play gates you know as long as you're playing about three colors so you can have enough gates out there uh play guilt a, for, a full place at a guild summit Gates of Blaze and Gross Spiral. And you can even go down a couple of Gross Spirals. But those 12 cards and Gates, and you have a deck, and then you can just throw in just about anything else. And honestly, it's a good deck. <laughs> like that's that's kind of the craziest thing right now, is that with a format right now how it is, you can even splash other colors with more gates. Um, and it's just insane. Like you can you can play control that way. You can play just about anything. But this combo I think is just phenomenal, and it does really really well. Uh, and so if you are looking for certain cards to just make sure that you have, I would say that these are the great ones to have. They're all uncommon. Um, you just play a bunch of gates. You get guild summits, gates of blades, growth spiral. Um, if you can try to get the gateway plaza, which is common. Uh, plaza of harmony I think is important against uh, whenever like a lot of aggro is in there, but it is a rare that you don't necessarily have to have. Uh, you can just replace that with more gates as well. And honestly, with this one, because we only have three uh, three colors, I ran out of gates, and I have been having to use uh, basic lands. I did deck test this one time, and I drew every single basic land and, like, no gates, and it was awful. Uh, so you don't want that to happen, but the chances of that happening are so slim. But overall, this is what we're trying to do with our deck. We have dive down to kind of save our amplifier a little bit, try to keep it on, on the battlefield for one turn, and then it gets becomes a, you know, a 16-16, a, uh, you know, 14-14, a 24-24. Um, I guess it, it changes off the toughness there, so it would be a 14-12. Um, but then we try to swing in for some damage. This does not get trampled by itself. Maybe we have a cash, crash through, and then we try to thud in for last points of damage. We also have Electro Dominance because with our Gates decks, uh, they do tend to go a little bit longer, uh, um, or they can. And I just love Electro Dominance because it does do a lot of damage. We can also get down some of the stuff instant speed like an amplifier on our end turn end of our step or sorry on their end step and then on our turn we can go ahead and swing with amplifier right away uh so that's the goal of this deck we're gonna see how it goes and wish me luck and this is awesome here we go all right we're up against vibertolo and um this isn't bad at all actually having gross spiral on turn two is amazing so yeah we're definitely keeping this um i like a couple blink of an eye it's just something that answers a lot of big threats like a teferi there's a lot of things it's instant speed it draws us cards so i do like the blink of an eye here um i'm not sure if it's taking up other spots of maybe just possibly better things but um 
we're going to go ahead and get down the island here. And we're going to pass the turn. We're just going to grow spiral and get down. Uh, is it Guildgate? Uh, unfortunately, you can't get down Gateway Plaza this next turn. Or this turn. All right, is land. Discovery. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and grow spiral now. Draw a card. There's a guild summit. All right, is it Guildgate? Perfect. Um, we do need to find something that can come in untapped now is the big issue. Um, we're going to go ahead and get down the guild summit while they're tapped down, though, for this next turn. Red and blue typically is Drake's. Uh, it could be some other stuff. All right. Um, let's go ahead and get down a, the forest first. Play guild summit. And then we're going to go ahead and tap this one down to draw a card. Better to get a draw while we can. Um, and we can't play the gateway plaza because we already played land. All right, so gates of blaze is good. Uh, we're going to have enough gates here soon to kill most drakes. All righty. Um, let's gateway plaza draw a card. We'll pay green. And a Carnage Tyrant. Uh, so we don't have enough mana just yet for that. Um, we're probably... We're just going to... Hmm. Do we try to get uh, get rid of some counters here and try that out? Or do we just grow Spiral on their end step to try to draw into something good here? We do want more gates. Uh, let's go ahead and try for the Gatebreaker Ram. I'm guessing it's going to get countered here. Um, Alright, it doesn't. Sweet, so we get a 5-5 five, five for 3 mana. And that's the other thing with this, too, is that, like, Gatebreaker Ram is another card that, like, you kind of just want to have. Uh, ends up taking up quite a bit of removal for it, Lava Coil. Um, so we do lose that guy, which is not as fun, but um, let's Gateway Plaza. Pay 1. Another ram. Um, Blink of an Eye might be useful here, though. They just use two burn spells, or two uh, removal. So we're going to go ahead and play Gatebreaker Ram. Make them have more removal. And this time we have Dive Down Up, so pass the turn. So if they try to uh, hit it with two things, fill up their graveyard more, then we're actually okay with that. All right, pass to my turn. Thud isn't bad. This is the other thing, too, is that Thud, I think, is just a fun card to be playing with all these bigger creatures. We do want to be trying to draw into um, our Amplifier at some point here, though. Um, we can Gates of Blaze and kill this. Um, and then we can also Blink of an Eye if they have a response, like a Dive Down. So let's go ahead and swing in. First does have Vigilance. Grow Spiral might have been good there because we could find another gate possibly, but kind of too late now. Uh, let's go ahead and just get down our Carnage Tyrant. Uh, that probably is just the best thing to do. It can't be... It has Hexproof, can't be countered. They don't have really board wipes in this, and we just push so much advantage with this. So um, there's a Carnage Tyrant. Pass the turn. We don't get to keep up the dive down now, um, but... Unless they play, like, a Niv-Mizzet here. Okay. And even that, like, we would be okay. We just need to find a gates, uh, another gate. All right, perfect. Another gate. All right. Guild gate. Dive down. Um, let's just... If we kill these guys, I think we have lethal with a thud. So uh, we have lethal without it too. But so gates ablaze. Uh, see if they have a dive down or a spell pierce. Spell pierce we're okay with. It's kind of looking like a spell pierce. They're counting our mana here. All 
All right, dive down. Um, we can just blink of an eye, and we have lethal that way. So yeah, let's just let's just do that. All right, so blink of an eye. All right, so we kill that, and then we swing in for victory. So uh, we didn't end up getting the uh, amplifier there. We did draw quite a few cards, but uh, uh, still this deck works with just Carnage Tyrants and the Thud as another thing there. That, that was just a fun game altogether. All right, up against Agro <laughs> Agroopolis. And uh, <laughs> sweet. Um, ooh, man, only one gate. Crash through is not bad though. Um, just has a, a draw spell. That's part of the reason I actually was okay with crash through. Is it's a one mana draw spell that helps out with amplifier. We're going to, yeah, we're going to keep this. Having a gates of blaze in hand is just so good. Uh, it kills so many things. Having some card draw to find us what we need. We should be in okay shape here, especially on the draw. All right. So is it guild gate? Hollowed Fountain. All right, we'll see how we do against Control. This has a semi-slow hand for Control. Uh, and Banefire might be a better option than Electrodominance. I just like the idea of having instant speed stuff to do. So Plaza of Harmony. Um, these are sorcery speed. So I'm going to go ahead and play one redraw, Guild Summit. And let's go ahead and do the other one. We lose out on our trample opportunities, but... Getting better draws is more important. And trying to find a third land. Which, uh, hopefully we find. Alright, Notion Rain. Alright, opponent decides to keep both on top. Draws two. Another Plaza of Harmony does get us the Guild Summit here. So, we'll do that. Pass the turn. And we do have uh, two red now, so we can at least Electrodominance into Thud. Uh, so that might work if we get down Galta. Carnage Tyrant, honestly, is pretty good against this. And that's another thing about this deck uh, that is really fun. So honestly, if you're trying to build a more competitive deck, you may not use Amplifier. Amplifier is more just like one of those like janky cards. It's just, it is. There's not really a way around that. Um, but here we go drawing cards. And honestly, this is such a good card. Guild Summit keeping card advantage for us. They might Mortify to try to kill it. Uh, yeah, there's a Mortify. Um, yep, Resolve. We at least get the draw trigger first. And more gates isn't bad, but we do need to start finding something to actually play. So we'll pass the turn. And uh, this Lone Galta doesn't look great, but it works great with Gate Colossus, because uh, Gate Colossus comes down cheap, and then Galta comes down cheap. Uh, we just need to find another Guild Gate. Teferi. Well, poop. That's not good. We need to find a Carnage Tyrant. Hurry. Yeah, we just had too slow of a start, I think, for this Esper Control deck. Uh... And that's probably the biggest issue. This this does play more like a mid-range deck. It just is a very good mid-range deck. I feel like, altogether. Alright, Guildgate. Um, we could hit it for two. But yeah, that's not going to happen. Pass the turn. The Stiferi might get out of hand. If we can find untapped land here and get down Carnage Tyrant, then uh, we'd be in okay shape. Gate Colossus can come down as well. All right, pass to my turn. Gatebreaker Ram. We could use Dive down that way. Let's go ahead and try for the Gate Colossus. One thing I like about Gate Colossus is that it's a pretty good um, removal or a, a counter fodder because especially if you do have a Guild Summit there and Gates to play, um, it keeps coming back. And so they keep spinning counters, but it goes to the graveyard when it gets countered, uh, which isn't all that bad. Um, so the best thing is, yeah, to just wait and exile it if you can. Which they can. Uh, so we we have a Carnage Tyrant, which uh, gives me hope here. Um, but the chances of them having board wipes, and once they get this to Fairy Emblem, we're just dead. So if you don't find Carnage Tyrant mana, then we just Electro Dominance. Um, Alright, so... Gruel Guildgate... Um, 
And we're just going to pass the turn. Uh, see if they play anything. So they tick up, draw a card. Keep up the pace. I'm hoping that they addendum something here so we can at least ping them down to uh, do three damage and get down a Gatebreaker Ram. All right, they go to the end step. Um, they actually have to untap one of our lands. Uh, so let's see if I can hold full control. So resolve, they untap our land. All right, shift. All right, oh, they, they just don't have to. Oh, that's interesting. I thought they did. All right, so pay three, hits a fairy. So if it gets countered, we don't get to use this. Um, all right, take off full control. Resolve. All right, so they do absorb. Uh, and that, I think, is just game. Once they can... I mean, Carnage Tyrant kind of works here. We'll see if it gets board wiped right away. Um, Carnage Tyrant actually is a decent answer for Teferi, um, even with Emblem, because it still can't target uh, Carnage Tyrant with its uh, with the Emblem. Um, so there's that, at least. <laughs> All right, there we go. So they have the Wrath, and we will concede. Yep, 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 yep. Right, Diom, bring it on. And... Uh, Man, this deck has been killing me. Uh, all right, we're going to keep this. We at least get our guild summits going. Uh, Gruel guild gate, pass a turn. So we've not been drawing green mana, like, at all. Um, is it guild gate? Which we have 12, 13 things that draw that is our green mana. Um, and then Plaza of Harmony is kind of another one if you find something else there. Drown Secrets. Alright, so going to be milled. All of our card draw here might actually be an issue for us now. Um, let's go ahead and Plaza of Harmony. Guild Summit. And pass the turn. And a lot of Guild Summits can't necessarily be good for us against mill. Ooh, double Drown Secrets. Very bad. Very, very bad. We do at least have a possibility of getting Gate Colossus into the graveyard. Gate Colossi. Amplifier loses out on its opportunity as well. So we, uh, I think we're going to go ahead and play our Amplifier on this next turn, though. Fountain of Renewal. Not blue. That's good. Ooh, all right. Um, yeah, let's go for Amplifier. This gives us a chance to just win next turn. We haven't found a Galta, I think the first time ever. Uh, and uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Psychic Corrosion. Yep, mill us a lot. Don't hit Carnage or uh, Galta. Hit all of our other amplifiers. There's a Galta. No! Oh, man. This deck is so frustrating. Electro Dominance. Psychic Corrosion comes down. All right. Hit the Gate Colossus isn't bad. That's a lot of damage. All right, so next we swing in, all attack. Down to five. All right, so now we're going to run into another Amplifier. Just watch. Uh, all right, so don't play that yet. Um, play Guild Summit. Oh, I should have tapped that differently. It didn't actually ask me to tap it differently, which it always does. That's kind of weird. All right, draw two. That's actually really frustrating. Well, hey, we drew into the amplifier that would have been drawn there. Uh, so, mill an amplifier, please. And give us something good. Okay, right, Wall of Lost Thoughts. We can uh, Gates of Blaze that away to be able to get in here. Our crash throughs keep going away, too. That's bad. Uh, maybe we'll just draw a Thud. Oh, Thud goes to the graveyard. Oh, my goodness. My luck is just awful. All of the amplifiers go away. We win. Unless, uh, all right, Carnage Tyrant, yes. All right. Um, Gates Ablaze. And Mountain, and I thought we had more gates. Gates Ablaze. And swing in for victory. 
Yes! Yes! Ah, <laughs> yes! Finally! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They had milled all of our uh, amplifiers away, which they were at the top of our deck, unfortunately. Uh, but we we pulled it off. Whew. Alrighty. Alrighty. Alright, so we finally made Amplifier work, and it's super, super fun. We didn't get it with the Thud. Uh, they got milled away on the last one. They actually were towards the top, but uh, um, I, I just... I'm not sure I recommend playing this deck, honestly, because I had the worst time playing with it, because I just never drew what I wanted. I literally drew these two islands, both of them, almost every game, and it was terrible. I, I played, I think, 10 games all together. Um, and so, honestly, the deck is super fun. There's some fun things you can do with it, but Amplifier, I don't think, deserves a spot, honestly. It just It's a fun card, and that's the reason why I'm playing it. it it's for the memes fully, but uh, and it, it, I think there is some stuff that you can do with it. Like, honestly, it can be a turn 5, 24 damage to you. You know, like, it, it really can be. Um, and if you did any ramp with it, uh, but then you'd also be playing things at ramp and and it just wouldn't work. So I think that this is the deck that it should fit in is something like this. But um, I, I just, I'm not a huge fan of the card uh, altogether. I think that other things are just better. If you're just playing the Gates deck, it just works better. Uh, so let me know what you guys think. Does Amplifier actually deserve a spot anywhere um, other than just being fun? And uh, it is super fun. But man alive, we just drew terribly over and over and over again. The, whenever we would get everything we wanted, we wouldn't draw a single green mana. And then whenever, like, we, uh, we'd run, we ran up against control several times in a row, like Turbo Fog, and we'd actually get them really close. We're like, if we draw this, we win. And just didn't draw anything. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Um, one thing too, I do think that you probably do change up dive downs for maybe some a couple of negates, uh, just because we're seeing so much control that dive down's okay, but negate or spell pierce actually does better, I think. Uh, just covers more, more grounds there. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you. Goodbye.